know, in the end, I think those are all learning experiences. I mean, you're only going to turn all your clothes pink once. Check it out. Who is the person sitting across from you and how would you describe them to a stranger? He's a great kid with a, a great heart. This is my mom, Mona. Think about ASU move in. What were you feeling? I was feeling um, anxious and a little bit worried about whether or not uh, Ethan was ready to be on his own. Yeah. Uh, I was worried, did I teach him everything that he needs to know? Um, but at the same time, I felt comfortable because I knew that he was mature and would make good decisions most of the time at least. I think I had similar feelings, um, like very excited to be, you know, moved out. Not that, you know, <laughs> no offense, <laughs> I guess. I was also a little worried because, you know, I'd never been on my own. Lots okay. of emotions. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good day. Yeah. It was a good day. What were your biggest fears or anxiety about entering the college chapter? Okay. My worries, I feel, were a little bit trite, you know, like, is he going to know how to separate his clothes to do the laundry right, you know? Are they going to run out of toothpaste or toilet paper? Um, but, you know, in the end, I think those are all learning experiences. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're only going to turn all your clothes pink once, <laughs> and then you'll realize, oh, I probably should separate them. Nothing life-changing. Nothing No life-changing life mistakes. Exactly. That's what you always yes, said. That's, that's what I always said. Okay. What would you say to someone who is on the fence about living on campus? Mm. I think that you don't get the full college experience if you live at your parents' house the whole time. And I think you probably wouldn't mature as much if you were just living with your parents the whole time. And also it's just, you know, it's fun living on campus and like being away from, you know, just being with people your age, I think that that's really nice. There's a lot of bonding that can happen mm -hmm. then. So. I always kind of joke that college is the time where you stay up till, you know, one or two in the morning talking about, um, you know, all of these existential um, drama and uh, world peace and all of these, mm -hmm. you know, really big ideas. And you're not going to do that if you're um, just living at home with your parents, right? You're going to yeah. come to class and then leave. It's like you also get more, uh, there's more different types of people. Like you meet yes. different types of people that you wouldn't normally, you know, like I didn't know anyone from like China or India, you know, before I came to college. And maybe I would have met them in my classes, but you know, living on campus makes it a lot easier to, you know, oh, do you want to go to the library, work yeah. on classwork, whatever. So, right. so it's cool. You meet like lots of different types of people that you wouldn't normally meet if mm -hmm. you were just living at home. So you might meet someone with, you know, beliefs that you just didn't even know that people could hold and it kind of teaches you how to talk to people who have beliefs that you know go against what you think and how to have like good conversations with people and I think that that's a really important life skill. Oh okay I think this one's more for you. Okay. So okay for from a CEO slash employer perspective how will the skills learned in college become hireable post-graduation and benefit your career? So I own a company and um, we, we really look for people that have a good balance of like technical skills, but also personability. Um, and I always would tell you, do not underestimate the, the benefits of being likable. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that uh, going to college, you meet so many different people you learn so many different things, and I think that you learn to talk to different kinds of people at different technical levels and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I think just learning how to communicate with people and just have a conversation, mm -hmm. I think that is very important because that will help make you likable and you'll win contracts and friends and, and um, job opportunities with those softer skills yeah so i think that that is actually even more important than than the technical stuff because you can learn the technical stuff mm -hmm. but those softer skills you have to kind of really inbreed those in into your yeah. yourself has living on campus with people from different upbringings transformed your view on different backgrounds 
I feel like if anything, it's made me feel really lucky um, about my upbringing, you know. Kids don't realize, because they're just growing up in their environment, they kind of assume everybody is the yeah. same. I think kids don't realize that uh, people grow up in very different environments. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think going to, to a college can help you see that, especially yeah. a college like ASU is so huge, mm -hmm. right? So you just see so many different types of people right. from so many different backgrounds. You just don't really know, you yeah. know, until someone says, unless you talk to them directly about it, you don't necessarily know someone's full background and stuff like that. So I think, I think it, it definitely has taught me to be more like welcoming and sympathetic and stuff like that. So. Yes. Okay. How have we as individuals grown over the last few years? Well, um, I miss you and I miss all of the amazing live music that mm. used to be, that used to fill our house. But it was just different. I mean, there's just not as much like life, mm -hmm. you know, and noise, you know, in, in a good way. Um, or a bad way. Or, yeah, or a bad way, depending on what was going on. Um, so I, uh, I just had to get used to a different level of activity. Um, and I think it was good. I mean, it did open up some time for me to, you know, do some other things or focus on other things. Um, but I, uh, I, I mean, it was hard. It was a hard transition, mm -hmm. right? But I knew it was a good thing, right? Like I knew that you were safe and that you were learning and um, that you were growing in a positive way. So right. I really just tried to focus on that. Yeah, I feel like I've grown a lot. I feel like I haven't really stayed stagnant in any aspect. Um, I mean, I think I, I have a lot more like time management skills. Uh, I think college helped a lot with that. And uh, I think I have a lot better people skills. Like I think getting out of, you know, I loved my high school, but you know, getting out of that bubble, like we were saying, I think that that's kind of forced me to learn how to communicate more universally with people and stuff like that. So I think my people skills are a lot better. Um, my com I feel like I'm more confident now than I was. And, um, you know, I go to the gym more, which is, you know, that's cool. Um, just like all kinds of different, I feel like I, I care more about what I eat. I, I feel like I'm more future minded um, with that. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, well, I shouldn't just be eating slop all day because I want to live a long time you know mm -hmm. and I want to so I feel like I've become more future-minded I feel like I've become more hard-working um, obviously I've learned a lot about you know technical things as well just being in school um, and I feel like I have more of a grasp on what I want to do long term also like with my life which is nice because you know going into college I didn't really know mm -hmm. I was like oh I'll do computer science because I like coding and I like math and, you know, there wasn't really much more to it and now I feel like I kind of know more specific areas I'm passionate about and I know like eventually I want to be a professor and, you know, stuff like that. Like I feel like I've just learned a lot. So. Okay, last one. Despite being away from home, has college brought us closer? I think it's made us appreciate the moments we have together more. I, I agree with that. And I think it's made us closer in some ways because I feel like we have become more friends. <laughs> yeah. You know, like when you were in eighth or ninth grade, I wasn't your friend. No. You know? You were not. And that was good. I, you know, you didn't <laughs> yeah. need another friend, right? right? You needed a mom. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like because of where you are and how you've matured and you've made, you know, really good decisions, I feel like we're more friends now, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, we can true. discuss things as friends. Yeah. So I think from that standpoint, I think we've become closer because I think we're not communicating on a level of like, Ethan, you need to make your bed or, you know, <laughs> do the dishes. Yeah. It's more, so, you know, what are you going to take next semester? Um, how are you doing with your job? That mm -hmm. kind of thing. So I feel like we've become, um, friends and we can have better conversations from that standpoint yeah I don't feel like I have to like put put a filter on as much now I guess when I'm talking to you yeah. whereas before it's like oh that's that's mom yeah you know I can't can't talk to her like that or I can't say that or whatever so 
Yeah, yeah, I agree. And yeah. I think also like, you know, just more appreciation, I guess. Like, you know, I feel like I really appreciate your like idiosyncrasies now <laughs> a lot more than I did before. <laughs> Because, you know, it used to be embarrassing. I used to think it was embarrassing. And now, like, it's like, oh, that's just, you know, it's just my mom. Mm -hmm. That's It's always nice when, like, you or grandma FaceTime me. Yes. You know? Whereas, like, I feel like before I would have been like, oh. Exactly. So, that's nice. 